Hello, I'm Jude. I normally draw spaceships with chalk. <laughs> Here's a spaceship drawn in chalk. Um, this is a drawing of a spaceship flying towards a star, and it's it's warm and reddish in colour because of the um, the light from the star, obviously. <laughs> uh, I thought, well, I use dark paper because space is black, and but it, not that dark because it's near a star. But it's still too dark for me to draw the star on, so I painted the star in white so that it was easier to make the star look bright. And then um, I, I'm planning it all out with pencil crayon first. It's a bit easier if if you've got it sorted. And these are good because they're watercolour pencils, so they'll blend in uh, with each other. And I can get rid of bits easier if, if I go wrong. Anyway. Here's, here's the edge of the star. It's a bit darker at the edges. It gives it the, the, the illusion of roundness if things are a bit darker at the sides. And then this is the exterior flames uh, that have heated up the uh, the area around the sun here. And that's the, the glow of the star. And I'm just going to blend that in on the paper to make it all nice and smooth and blendy. I always enjoy doing a star. They're, they're just so, so powerful in the way that they uh, they dominate the picture, and I, I love the, the the drastic impact that they have on everything around them in terms of the colours and and the, the harsh shadows. This is um, silhouetted, but also lit, so it's got a peculiar sort of combination of dark and light going on, which is quite nice. I'm trying to show all the uh, the panels, and you've got these sh sharp lines, bright where the edges of the panel are facing the sun. I like pencil crayon because you get neat, tidy lines, and especially when you use your paintbrush to finish them, you just end up with these nice crisp shapes. And of course, this is a metal object, so you kind of want to clarify it a bit. I could make the chalk neat by cutting masks and, and smudging up to the edges like I'm stenciling, but I'm happy with pencil crayon on this one. I want that harsh, crisp line. I'm just filling in with water, using water to, to smooth out the um, watercolour pencil crayon. You, you can't really easily chalk over pencil crayon but the watercolour pencil crayons are good. They do allow you to chalk over them a bit but it's easier if you've um, turned them into paint. You can chalk over paint really well. All that all that kind of waxy resistance goes when you put a bit of water on them and also it smooths out that gravel effect that you get when you use a pencil crayon because it just blends it into the paint. Imagine what it must be like in the cockpit of that spaceship. Just the whole of your vision filled with this glaring heat. Here I'm putting some um, superheated gas clouds on top uh, of the front of the spaceship. It, it, you lose some of that detail that I, I had done at the front of the spaceship, but also it, it gives the the effect that the that the, the, of the, um, the metal, you know, cracking and flexing the heat and the glare. Anyway, this this is nearly done. That's all I've really got to say. Uh, <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye.